because we're all going back to the new first one. Today we will be back on Design Basics. So, I currently wanted to make a video on level shifters, which are very important to origami, let's just say, origami, um, humans and all kinds of stuff with box bleeding. So, I wanted to give an example of something that used it, or not something that used it, but an example of what a box is. A level shifter might look like. So, if you want to follow along, feel free to. We'll be doing complete from scratch so you can see exactly every step of the way. We're going to start by folding in half, edge to edge. Unfold. Fold against that edge. Fold again to that same edge. Or I should say fold. It's not really an edge. And then fold once more. Unfold completely. Rotate 90 degrees. And repeat. I'm going to be fast, so for just slow down the video and put back settings. Rotate 90 degrees again. And this time we don't need one half to be already there. So you just do the quarters and then the eighth and the sixteenths. So now you're going to turn it to the side you want the color, to, not all the color to be on. You're, make, you're basically going to make it a quarter again. So valley fold on one side, mountain fold on the, mountain fold on the next, or one crease, I don't like to saying sides. And repeat that. It should look something like this. We're going to repeat that all the way down. I'm going to do it on the table, I should get it easier on myself. Let me show the camera. So then you're going to unfold it halfway through and find how many are in the center. I believe it's four. Let me check that. So four from this, four from the edge, approximately. We're going to fold it. Yeah, so there should be nine, I think. Doesn't seem right. We see it approximately fold it, unfold it at the edge. Or at the middle. Like that. And then, you're going to choose the place you want to make your level shifter and make a crimp. I personally like mine somewhere near the middle, but not slight, but slightly below. And I'm going to do something like this. 
Now you're going to just slightly completely unfold, which, which by that I mean unfold, but like keep your creases intact. You'll need this more importantly later. And now you should see slightly your crease here. That's where you lay your mountain fold. Now you're going to turn make that fully a mountain fold. So like that. And then pull it right back down. Uh, above, usually, is how I like to do it. Since those are below, I might try that this time, actually. And I'm going to redo that crimp. I mean, accordion. This should be a lot easier since the creases are already in place. And then we're going to go back and create the middle again. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly the middle. I think it's actually better that way. That's just my opinion. Just need more options. So you're going to get an uneven model with someone holding something in one arm. So now here comes the fun part, the level shift here. I'm going to show this as slowly as I can, but it's, it's hard for me to slow down. So I'm going to figure this out the best I can. So yeah. We're gonna basically you're gonna open it up at the edge of whatever you want if we any of these. I like want to do the one that's closest. And you can there are many there are a few ways I'm show you the easiest. We're basically gonna kind of be in mountain fold over this valley fold actually. And just like that. Oops, I probably show this a little better on camera. We're gonna push this in with my hand underneath, kind of creating this almost like a reverse fold. And crease it really strongly and, and flatten it out. It should look something like this. That's what it looks like. Now, what we can do is we can do the other type on the other side. So let me show that to the camera again. The other type is making it flat instead of uh, more like, you know, diagonal over here, you could say. So, what I'm gonna do, it's a little more complicated, but I'll show you the best I can. If you're basically gonna open it right over here and kind of kind of create that crease like that. That will create a mountain fold of, of two squares. We're gonna create that again that mountain fold in between. And then just like that, you're gonna flatten completely. Hopefully, you can do this correctly. Stay flat. One second, let me fix that. Now I'm getting confused. Oh my goodness. There we go, that looks a little better. Flatten that a little bit more. I might have it wrong. And there we go. One flat, one a little more rounded. And you know, you can do more. You can add more creases. You could un you can do a reverse level if I like to call it, which kind of brings it back in. You can you have a lot of possibilities. I personally like mine a lot a lot, and I do use them a lot in my models. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.